Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 Metro. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 036 underscore DIAB underscore M where you save it. You can also download this file from the website. Click the file tab, hover the mouse cursor to save us and select projects. Rename this file to 00 underscore 037 underscore DIAB underscore M. Click the save button. In the last tutorial, we tag the room of our project. In this tutorial, we're going to rename this room to customizing. Go to the structural section and open the ground floor plan view. Zoom in into this area. Double click this room and rename this room to M bedroom. Press enter on your keyboard. Rename this room to the blue closet. Click out to accept the new name. Click on this room and rename this to M bath. I'm going to pause the video and rename all the other room behind the scene. Now the room is being completed from the ground floor to the first floor. If you zoom in close, you see all the room the way I renamed them. But now when you look at the room, this room takes up more space because of the room number. In this project, the room number is not important for us. So select the tag. Go to the property palette and click edit type, uncheck room number and select apply, click ok. The room number are gone. Now you can select the room, tag and move it to position. Select all the room tag that are away from the room they tag and move them to position. I'm going to edit this and abbreviate this room so that it can fit exactly into the room that it tag. Now we need to edit this, this room tag to reduce the space between the room and the tag. Select any of the tag and click edit family. Select the room number and hit delete on your keyboard. Select the room volume and hit delete. Select the room area and hit delete. Now select the room number, use a move cursor and move it down. Click load to project. Click override existing version and its parameter value. You see now the room move into place nicely. Go to the ground floor view and see the results. Now the stairwell is not fitting well into the stairs. Select the stairwell, go to the option bar, click the down arrow and change it to vertical or you can go to the property palette, click the, the arrow next to orientation and change it to vertical. The text rotate into 90 degrees. Click the modify button. Double click the first floor plan view to open this view. The text is being positioned nicely. But when you look at the roof, this roof is cut at this point. This is not the way you want it to display. The reason be that the, the view range of this view is somewhere in between the roof. So we need to change the view range. But if we change the overall view range, we're going to affect the entire view. In the next tutorial, we're going to see how we can handle this problem. If you like this tutorial, please click the like button and share it to your friends. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. If you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next class. Goodbye.